I'm here with Marlene Blessing, who is the editorial director of Beadwork Magazine. And so many people are afraid to work with the symmetry. What I love is that you brought with you today a great inspiration piece to kind of get us away from that. Exactly. It's really simple. It's basic. It's a good starter piece for working mm -hmm. with asymmetry. It's beautiful. So we're going to take you right to my little version of this, which turned out to be a little bit longer, a little bit different. I'm just working as with pretty. Just, <laughs> just as pretty, really similar. I'm working with a lot of the same ingredients. Here okay. we've got our materials, and we're using very inexpensive Czech glass. Looks like stone. It's all it mottled. Does. It looks like a green turquoise. I know, mm -hmm. or, or malachite or something. Mm -hmm. And then we also have these great little. Um, pebbles mm -hmm. that are quartz pebbles, really inexpensive. I mean, altogether, this stuff is only going to run $10, $15. That's so already, you know, you're saving money, you can spend money somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And the somewhere else is going to be with our beautiful toggle, which is... That's pretty. Yeah, a little bird goes into the opening here, sky print. Um, we've also got these little cornerless silver cubes. Mm -hmm. And we've got some chain here that's got silver coating, mm -hmm. but it's not pure silver, it's not sterling so it's silver, plated. so plated. Perfect. Less expensive, really pretty. Okay. Let's get into, Let's get into the necklace. This. Excited about this one. Yeah. Well, let me first say there's some symmetrical parts. Because mm -hmm. you look at these components, they're all the same length. You know, these two are the same length, these are all the same length, this is the same length. So that makes it real easy. And I've strung up just the initial beads, the green beads that are at the start of the piece. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the little bird clasp that is so unique and so cute mm -hmm. and we're going to put this on the end of this first segment. So I've already got Give your beads strung. My, yeah, I got my beads strung and I'm putting it through here and we've got a... Um, what size wire are you using? What gauge? I'm using 18. 18? Mm-hmm. And um, so medium, I mean, but you have to gauge it based on the beads that you're mm -hmm. using, that you choose. All right, so I've got kind of a snug fit here. Mm -hmm. um, a friend, Kate McKinnon, told me that you should, when you're doing your crimp, a lot of people make the mistake of putting the crimp too close. They pull it really, really snug. And that makes it vulnerable and right. it can snap. So don't do that. <laughs> <We> <laughs> to won't have do good that. results. And then we cut the tail off on our beading wire and um, we're going to take the front part of the crimp so that we can kind of round this and make it a little bit smaller because we're going to do something special on this. We're going to put a crimp bead on it. Mm. We're going to do that with all our crimps and that way we sometimes cover up a multitude of sins. We also make it look like it's a bead. Perfect. So here they are. They're these little rounded Mm -hmm. kind of half moon things. Right. Grasp it in the front of the crimp plier, fit it right over the tube you were just working with, mm -hmm. press it lightly, and voila. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's go to the next component. Mm -hmm. And over here we've got our little quartz pebbles and basically we've got a nice rhythm of, you know, one of the cornerless cubes, silver cubes, quartz pebbles. We do several of these components. There are two in the necklace. Mm -hmm. And we finish it the same way with a, you know, great little crimp with a bead cover on it, crimp bead cover. And let's review what we've got here in the necklace in front of us because you can see there are two of these components, there are two of the mm -hmm. quartz components, and then we've got three of the chain components. Let's go to the chain. So let's go to the chain, yes. chain, chain. <laughs> and I'll show you um, a great trick that Melinda Barda, one of the people that I work with, showed me. Like and tricks a little trick and I mean it's just to save time and to be exact you just hang a chain mm -hmm. this is the segment that the length that we want okay and you take the piece that you're cutting from you hang it next to it and you can see right there exactly perfect what you have to cut it's a perfect mm -hmm. measurement so we've got that and when you do cut these and you have to cut a length what you want to make sure to do is cut right where there's usually a little channel in mm -hmm. the chain link. You cut right in the channel so that you're creating the opportunity to use it as a jump ring. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm just going to snip it just like I said in that channel. Mm -hmm. And there we have a ready made jump ring that we That's can use. Perfect. Perfect. So nothing gets wasted. Nothing. Mm -hmm. okay. So let me show you how we use it. All right. Because we've got this great little dangle on the necklace. And what we've done is we've taken two of those links. Oh. And, and use them as jump it. rings and attached it. So it hangs and it's really cute. And we're just going to take a okay. couple of pliers, 
couple of these jump rings. Okay. Yeah. And you just attach those. And, yep. We'll just pretend it's that segment right there. Mm -hmm. And so that yep. creates that dangle that you have right there. It creates in that the dangle. There. And you do this the same way that you would with any mm -hmm. normal jump ring. You open it by torquing it, you know. And it torques you. Yep. Perfect. Yep. And the final step would be, of course, attaching the clasp. Absolutely. And you want to notice here mm -hmm. the same thing. We've done a crimp and we've covered it with a crimp bead. Perfect. Well, let's show. The final necklace. <laughs> the final Excited necklace so we can that. see the results, yeah. Because I like the fact that you've combined both symmetry and asymmetry because the pieces are really... I know, it's got the satisfactions of mm -hmm. both, but you've had a little adventure because you've That's done pretty. something that, yeah, different. Love it. Thank you so much, Marlene. Thank you. It was fun.